Welcome! Today we'll be going through question 1 from the USA JMA 2013. Are there any integers a and b such that a to the power of 5b plus 3 and ab to the power of 5 plus 3 are both perfect cubes of integers? Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. How could modular arithmetic work for this problem? Which modulo would be useful to work in? Hint number two. What are the cubic residues of modulo nine? In other words, what are the remainders when a cube is divided by nine? Hint number three. What are the remainders when a power of 6 is divided by 9? Or what is x to the power of 6 in modulo 9? How will this tie in with the problem? What is a to the power of 5b multiplied by ab to the power of 5? Solution. The cubic residues of modulo 9 are 0, 1 and minus 1. So if a to the power of 5b plus 3 and ab to the power of 5 plus 3 are q, then a to the power of 5b and ab to the power of 5 are congruent to 5, 6 or 7 in modulo 9. This also means that neither a nor b can be a multiple of 3 because a multiple of 3 to the power of 5 gives a multiple of 9. We can also notice that x to the power of 6 is congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 9. We can show this either by using the euler totian theorem or by observing the constants of the polynomials 9m to the power of 6, 9m plus 1 to the power of 6, 9m plus 2 to the power of 6, and so on and so on. So because h to the power of 6, b to the power of 6 is a power of 6, it is congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 9. However, a to the power of 6, b to the power of 6 can be rewritten as a to the power of 5b multiplied by ab to the power of 5. And 5 squared is 25, which is minus 2 modulo 9. 5 times 6 is 30, which is 3 modulo 9. 5 times 7 is 35, which is minus 1 modulo 9. 6 squared is 36, which is 0 modulo 9. 6 times 7 is 42, which is minus 3 modulo 9. And 7 squared is 49, which is 4 modulo 9. Now, because a to the power of 6, b to the power of 6 is a power of 6, only 6 times 6, giving 0 modulo 9, fits. So, if a to the power of 5b and ab to the power of 5 are both 3 less than cubes, they are both congruent to 6 modulo 9. However, this would mean that they are multiples of 3 because a number congruent to 6 in modulo 9 is a multiple of 3. This in turn gives either a or b as a multiple of 3, which is a contradiction as we've previously seen that neither a nor b can be a multiple of 3. And thus, there are no integers a and b such that a to the power of 5b plus 3 and ab to the power of 5 plus 3 are both cubes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.